Hi folks, it is Mark Smith yet again. I went to the movies again. I was minding my own business again, looking for a little bit of entertainment. Watched the whole movie, enjoyed it, and there was one line that grabbed a hold of me. It's got me so worked up I can't go to sleep. I just had to make this video tonight. The movie I went and saw was friggin' great. It's called Wind River. It will be nominated for Best Picture. I don't think it'll win Best Picture. It will be nominated. It stars the magnificent uh, Jeremy Renner, who I think will be nominated for Best Actor and probably will win. He killed it. It was directed by Taylor Sheridan, who I think also would get an Academy Award nomination. Um, I'm not going to get into the story of the movie just to say it was fantastic. Um, very well done. But Jeremy Renner plays a man who has gone through trauma. He's gone through loss. And he's a mighty warrior. And he kills predators. His job is to kill lions and wolves. And then this uh, lady FBI agent shows up and she says, how about if you help me catch a human predator? So he did. Fabulous movie. But at one point, uh, the character that Jeremy Renner played was giving comfort to an Indian man who just lost his daughter to rape and murder. And Jeremy Renner had also lost his daughter to rape and murder years, three years previous. And as he was comforting the man, he shared something that he had uh, learned at a grief workshop in Casper, Wyoming. And some, some grizzled veteran of grief sat him down and uh, gave him a, a little talk and gave him some inspiration. And at some point, Jeremy Renner's character said, you know, actually, actually I take it back. This was at the end of the movie. That, that was a great scene um, where he's talking to the Indian man and comforting him. But at the end of the movie, he, he was talking with the, the female FBI agent who almost got killed. And she says, I was just lucky. You know, I could have easily died. I was just lucky. And Jeremy Renner said, out here in the wild, in Wyoming, in the Badlands, there is no luck. Uh, you lived because you fought for your life and you were courageous. That's why you lived. And here's the quote, wolves, they don't kill unlucky deer, they kill weak deer. Did you get it? Wolves don't kill unlucky deer, they kill weak deer. A wolf will, a pack of wolves will, will track whatever prey that they're after, and they don't go after the, the, the leader of the pack. They go after a straggler who's tired and weak and sick and can't keep up and isn't with the safety of the herd. Wolves do not kill unlucky deer. They kill weak deer. Bang! Don't believe that you got involved with a narcissist due to bad luck. Do not believe that you got involved with a narcissist because of the power of the narcissist. They are irrelevant in the deal. You got involved with a wolf because there was something in your makeup that made you vulnerable to wolves. That's why you got ate by the wolf. It wasn't bad luck. And it wasn't the power of the fucking narcissist. Pardon my language. So I'm going to back this up by talking about my own self. 
Um, I, I was so weak. Right after I got divorced and right after I'd been through my first round of narcissistic abuse by a total psychopath, I was weak. I was needy. So here's six ways that I was a, uh, a, a sick deer, a weak deer. I was so naive. I didn't know that, that wolves existed. I thought everybody was nice sheep. I didn't know that there were wolves that would, you know, bite into your jugular vein and, you know, cause your neck to bleed out in a matter of minutes. Um, I was so naive. I was very needy emotionally. I had a need to reenact the wounds that I experienced from my borderline psychopathic mother during my childhood. And it made me an easy mark. Pardon the pun. Uh, number four, I did not have the wisdom to find safety and protection in the herd. I didn't surround myself with friends and family and recovery people and therapists who could really give me feedback that I would listen to. Now, uh, nobody liked this narcissist I was involved with. Uh, my nephew, first time he met her, he said, dude, anybody but her. And my kids didn't like her. My friends didn't like her. My therapist thought she was in that insane, but I was outside the safety of the wisdom of the herd. Uh, number five way that I was um, made myself vulnerable to a wolf is I was arrogant. And going through narcissistic abuse, that'll humble a fellow, let me tell you. And then number six way that I was a weak... Uh, ill, easily devoured little deer was I was just in complete denial. I could not handle the truth. There were several times where she might as well have brought in a, a neon sign that says, I'm a sex addict and I'm screwing half the guys in town. And I still wouldn't have got it because I didn't want to get it because I was in denial. So, my friends, the wolf that got you and gobbled you up, they didn't get you because you had bad luck. They didn't get you because they were a cunning wolf. They may be a cunning wolf, but that's not why they got you. They got you because there was something in you that made you easy prey. And the purpose of these videos, dear God, it's not to learn more about the fucking wolf. I'm sorry, but a lot of you spent a lot of time watching videos about narcissists. You need to be watching videos about yourselves. Learning about the narcissist is about 10% of your recovery process. You need to focus on the wounds of your childhood you need to find a way to not be so naive. That'll help learning about narcissists. But it ain't going to help you with your neediness. It ain't going to help you with your need to reenact the wounds of your childhood. It ain't going to help you with you not protecting yourself by the safety of the herd. It isn't going to save you from your arrogance or your denial. The only thing that studying wolves does, it'll keep you from being so naive. The other five things... You need to take a long, hard look at that man or woman who looks at you in the mirror, my friends. I'm sorry that I, I'm dropping F-bombs, but I'm telling you, quit focusing on the narcissist. They're not powerful. They may be cunning, but the only reason they got a hold of, you know, the little lamb is because the little lamb, the little deer was unprotected. That's the only reason they got them. And if you learn how to see the world as it is and get your own needs met by healthy self-care and uh, work on your issues in therapy instead of in your relationships, uh, protect yourself with the wisdom of the herd of recovering people, uh, be humbled and uh, 
really be open to knowing the full truth about yourself, then you, my friend, will never, ever again fall into the clutches of a narcissist. You will never be gobbled up by a wolf again. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're not going to, to change metaphors here. Uh, there's this one that, that, I, that I shared. Uh, the storm uh, whispered into the ear of you know the the warrior you better be afraid you better run that I'm the storm I'm gonna get you and the warrior said I'm the storm I'm the fucking wolf I'm the I'm the power you know I, I'm I'm not powerless I'm to be reckoned with you know, a wolf comes next to me, they're going to get a bullet in the skull. They ought not mess with me. That, that, that's what somebody who's powerful, that's how they deal with wolves. Jeremy Renner in the movie, he was powerful. He had a rifle and he shot wolves and he shot predators. Powerful, powerful man. Powerful movie. Wolves do not kill unlucky deer. They kill weak deer. I need to go to sleep. I just had to get that out of my system. Uh, join our uh, YouTube channel, Family Tree Brand Life Coaches. Uh, join us on Tuesday night, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Me and Renda for an hour and a half. Going to answer your questions. Uh, go to FamilyTreeCounseling.com to... Uh, Look at uh, the books that I have to download. Also, two things. One, Rinda and I have a new product, a new service, and that is a three-day intensive. Y'all can come to the beach, stay right on the beach. Every day you drive about a, a mile to our home and spend three days with both of us just killing it in deep intensive therapy. And... Uh, a lot of therapists around the world and around the country are shifting more to an intensive model than this Americanized uh, insurance-driven model of one hour a week in therapy, which isn't as effective as intensives. Uh, the other thing what was the other thing? Oh, uh, if you want to work with me or with Renda uh, via Skype, then you can do that. What you're looking at right now in, in this video, that's how I look on Skype, exactly. So uh, whether you're in Taiwan or Brussels, which I, I have clients in those places, or uh, Russia, um, or whether you're in Carmel, India, it doesn't matter. If you got good Wi-Fi, it'll come through just like this, and we can uh, roll up our sleeves and get to work. Wolves do not kill unlucky deer. They kill weak deer. Stop being weak. Get strong. See y'all.